Hello and welcome to GMI, the Guitar Music Institute podcast, episode number 35. My name is Jed Brocky, and today I'm talking to Nate Savage of Guitario. The internet has some negative connotations in many people's minds, but there's no doubt that my next guest has created something truly amazing for guitarists. Guitario has, for example, nearly half a million subscribers on YouTube and provides guitar lessons right across the board from beginner to advanced. I wanted to know more about Guitario, how it began and how they took it from nothing to this huge online resource. And in the interview that follows, he's going to take us through step by step what Guitario can do for you. So if you've never heard of Guitario, I really would advise you to go and have a look. Now, as part of the GMI offering, just by listening to this podcast, you can get 15% of all our products that are available on our online shop. Just go to gmiguitarshop.com and put in the following code, GMI01, at checkout, and you'll receive 15% off. I hope you'll check out our shop and our expanding range of guitar resources. Let's get right into it, and up next is my interview with Nate Savage of Guitario. Hello, Nate. It's great to be talking with you. How are you over there? Oh, I'm pretty good, Jed. Thanks for having me. So let's just find out for the listeners around the world, tell them exactly where you actually are. Um, I am about uh, an hour east of Vancouver, British Columbia, so in the Great White North in Canada. So do you... Although... um, I'm originally from Texas, but I've been here for about 10 years. Ah, so you're a Texan. Okay, That's right. so does that mean that you have to take a gun out all the time because there's bears hanging around? They would not let me bring it over, so I am uh, a light there in that regard. <laughs> <You're> defenseless. <laughs> right, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, broadband, I take it, I mean, this signal that we've got, it's really good. It's really good, the broadband over there, because so much of what you do is online, right? Yeah, it's it's getting better over the years. Um like as far as, you know, your house and stuff like that, it's, you know, what you typically expect to get what you pay for. But it's definitely getting better over the years with fiber and stuff like that. Right. OK. So I was uh, when I was looking at Guitario, um, it is quite astonishing what you have achieved. And I just wanted to talk to you about it and let people know about Guitario who maybe haven't come across it. If there's anyone left in the guitar world <laughs> who hasn't come across it. It, it seems like there always is because the guitar uh, market and particularly education is just so big. Yeah, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing, and yeah. uh, and yet people need more and more more support. So try and work that one out if you can. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, Guitario. When did that start? It's a long story. Um, I guess like the the seeds of it started about fourteen or fifteen years ago when Jared Falk of uh, Drumio was starting that with a company called Railroad, Railroad Media, and it wasn't even called Drumio at the time, but he was you know selling. And creating little one-off DVDs and selling them from his BlackBerry. And I met him uh, on tour. I picked up a gig as a guitar player, and he was the drummer. And I met him, and he was just starting this business up. And um, I guess we tour on and off for about four years together with this local band from here in BC. Uh, about two or three years into it, he's like, oh, if we ever do guitar, you have to come up to Canada. You're the great guy for it. So I was like, yeah, right, whatever. That's never going to happen. So he kept doing it, kept doing the drum thing. He started just really dominating that market. About a year later, he's like, yep, let's do it. It's time. So we started uh, working on uh, the work visas and all the legal stuff to get me across into Canada to come up and work for him. And that was about uh, 10 years ago, I suppose. You're originally from Texas, correct? Right. Okay, so that must have been quite a big jump. Um, Yes and no. I, I had um, gone to music school and then I went to university after that to get a degree that I still to this day am don't really use but i got it and then after that the first thing i went out and did was um got a job at guitar center because i was like i i do not want to work in this industry that i got this degree in so what was the degree in it was uh, a graphic communications technology so like managing advertising and print agencies okay which which kind of comes into play now a little bit but my music degree i consider like probably the best money i've ever spent in my life so everybody has to pay for an education in America. The, uh, yeah, in general, unless you get um, my music degree, I didn't pay much for because I got scholarships. But my other university degree, I definitely like, paid for. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. You moved to Canada. Did you already have in your mind fleshed out how you were going to take Guitario, how you were going to uh, shape it, or was that something a templated system 
that was handed down to you? Um, well, they had the idea of um, – at that time, there was a lot of uh, physical products involved still, like DVDs, books, CDs, things like that. So they had the idea of kind of basing it on um, the same structure as Dremio or what would become Dremio. But we quickly found out that the guitar market is quite a bit different. It's a lot more competitive and um, it's just a lot – I think it's a lot more dynamic. And there's – even though it's a lot bigger too. So we had to tweak some things and we're still, still tweaking things 10 years later um, – because drums and guitar just aren't the same, you know. Well, something I noticed was that you pushed the acoustic guitar. Did you see that as the way ahead? For You mean as far as the latest thing or just in general? Just well, in guitar, you've got acoustic guitar made easy. You're with an acoustic guitar, you know, as opposed to the electric market, which may you may have thought was saturated. Um, over the years, we've kind of done both. We, and we've kind of really kind of alternated our our focus is to kind of cover as much ground as possible. But the last thing uh, with acoustic guitar made easy, which just came out uh, at the beginning of this month, is the fact that most newer players who are frustrated with guitar start on acoustic in general. So, and um, the whole point of the course is to take like the the five main areas that people struggle with that I see people like getting taken out of the game all the time over and over again for the past however many years I've been uh, playing and teaching and just really addresses those and make sure to get them down so they don't get frustrated and quit pretty much. So can you describe the course to us? What what, what can people uh, expect to learn? It's a 26 week course that's time release. So as a beginner, you don't get frustrated. You have one thing that you need to work on this week and then the next week you get the next lesson. But the, it covers um, the five main pillars of playing the guitar. What I perceive that, you know, if you can do these things as a newer guitar player, then you're going to have fun. You're going to be successful. And those five things are uh, strumming, clean chords, clean chord transitions, learning a few cover songs, five cover songs, and then a little bit of music theory, just enough to um, get to where you can start figuring out and learning songs for yourself. So, uh, in a way, are you mainly addressing the bottom of the pyramid? Exactly, yeah. Now, what if someone goes th- goes through those ones? Because I see there are other courses as well. You've got a, a music theory, you've got acoustic jump start. Is that is that all part of the same thing? But you've and you've got lead guitar lessons, blues guitar lessons. Could you maybe go into some detail about that? Sure. Um, for guitarlessons.com or like the free uh part of Guitario. The main things we try to do are get just skim the surface on all those areas that you just mentioned, like blues guitar, a little bit of lead guitar, rhythm guitar, just to address the main problem areas that people come up against and they're getting into those initially. And then if they find it like, okay, this is something I actually like that I really want to do with my life, then um, acoustic guitar made is just like the beginner one. And if somebody's already you know gone through that and they have those things down, then Guitario is the other thing. It's the membership site where... It goes into a lot more details and a lot more areas uh, for acoustic and electric. It's quite unbelievable that, maybe it's not that unbelievable, but I I think it's amazing that you've got 477,320 subscribers on your YouTube channel. How on earth do you manage to, to amass that? Well, we've been doing it a long time, man. We've been doing it for 10 years, and... um. When Drumio started this, when it was uh, freedrumlessons.com and drumlessons.com, they were like, they actually started doing videos right before YouTube even existed. So they were in a really good spot for that. So they, they had um, a really good infrastructure for cranking videos out. And then, like, YouTube is always a mystery, man. Like, sometimes I'll, I'll create a video and I'm like, this is going to do great. And it gets a couple thousand views. And then, I, there's a video that's like, well, I hope this does well and it'll get, you know, a million views. It's really hard to tell. But I think like the biggest thing with it is just being inconsistent over time. And that's there's there was definitely an era a couple of years ago where we could have done better at that. But our focus was on just on other things at that time. So eight guitar chords, you must know. Five point yeah. four million views. Five essential strumming patterns, two million views. I mean, these are mind boggling figures. Yeah, but like even even when I worked at a music store for five years, and when I did that, like it became very evident. It is it is probably the third largest uh, music store by volume in the United States, and it became very evident to me that, like the people struggle with the same things over and over and over and over again. Like it it was like clockwork, and I was just you know selling the strings behind a counter and talking to all those people. Kind of gave me a really good insight into that plus teaching and then after that when i started this it was just kind of confirmed everything so i was like okay this is these are the things that people struggle with that 
people are going to be looking for. So how do you feel about the education educational process? I mean, are you addressing those people, mainly addressing the people that want to dip in and out of guitar playing? Or is it, uh, to use a, a phrase that I absolutely hate, taking them on a journey? Mm, my ultimate goal and my like purpose behind these is always to get uh, these videos to people who want to use them and want to get better. Like people can watch the videos for entertainment. That's fine. But that's, you know, that helps the views. But really if it, I, and I tell Jared this when we're uh, talking about new products and things like that, if they're not using it, then what's the point? So I want people who um, will go through these, whether it's the free lessons or the courses that we have for sale, that will go through it, actually use it and have uh, just be available to have music change your life. Cause music is life changing if you get into it and you have, and you know, if you stick with it for a while. At least I think it is. Within your courses, uh, then, Nate, do you actually get feedback and do you give feedback? Uh, how do the, the courses w work? Yeah, um, well, with this new format, I give feedback for all my courses as far as like email access and um, uh, comments on the pages and things like that. But particularly with this new format that we're doing, the 26-week course, it's um, part of it that you're buying is access to me. So like I'll come in uh, like today, I'll answer probably three hours worth of emails just from uh, Acoustic Guitar Made Easy and maybe do some video responses to in case anybody's having you know trouble with one particular thing. But there's co like comments on the page, uh, direct email, and then video correspondence to like if they can ask a question or need a response. So the interesting thing with you, Nate, before we actually started recording, was that you mentioned that you were an actual performing musician. <laughs> Has is this world that we're now all in as as musicians of, and for many people, the dream is you're living the dream of having a massive YouTube channel and all that. Does it become like a rod for your back, and that it's sort of you're basically stuck there in the room doing the videos, answering the emails all day? The thing is, I my favorite part of this job as of right now is uh answering the emails and interacting with the students because that's something that hasn't always been there so it's a lot nicer but the market is so big so saturated and it's always changing so you really have to stay on top of how you present things and that's one thing that i'm constantly learning and trying to get better at is how to present things so you don't get buried so do you get a lot of requests i take it people will ask you for things i mean how do how do requests actually get up your antenna as to be worthwhile doing a lot of it comes through um i do a lot of the support emails too just generic support emails i used to do a lot more but i still do some but just getting random emails from people saying, hey, I like this, I like this, I like this. And then if you start to see a pattern, you're like, I, I need to address that. I need to do a video on that and make it in a kind of an entertaining way, which we're, I'm still trying to work on instead of just being straight educational, trying to be more entertaining. But um, also uh, just YouTube comments, because that's kind of the Wild West, right? People say whatever they want. And sadly, they, they say whatever they want, yes. Yeah, but our, our channel is pretty good for that. We don't have too many trolls because people – that find our videos generally genuinely want them so what about you as a player and what do you, where are you coming from as an actual player what stylistic where's your roots and just as an aside do you get much chance to actually progress as a musician um yes i do but not always in the areas that i would choose to just because there's only so many hours in a day and you know, I have to work on things for work as far as playing, and sometimes there's no time left over for what you want. But having said that, it's still making me a better player, so I'm, I still really enjoy it. As far as, like, my background with music, I started out rock and blues, um, and then eventually over the years I got to where I wouldn't say it's fusion because I don't I don't play fusion that well, but definitely uh, in elements of that to where it's a little more progressive than just regular rock or pop or things like that. Uh, players like Greg Hell and Brad Garsid uh, for acoustic, Monty Montgomery, people like Doyle Dykes or Beppe Gambetta. All those kind of more progressive, even if it's just instrumental or, you know, vocal too. Well, I've looked through your, your YouTube channel, but not in huge depth. Do you do any, as I like to call it, slap and tickle? Do you offer, <laughs> <laughs> do you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know, like the Andy McKee stuff? Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you guys offer, do you get, you must be asked a lot for that, don't you? I not really. Um, I love Andy McKee, and we had um, probably the closest we've had to that on Guitario is uh, Don Ross, but he doesn't really slab that much. Maybe a little bit here and there, 
but he's more the the finger cell virtuoso kind of guy but it was really great to have him out you must have your finger in a way on the pulse of where things are going or, or if you don't you you would want to wouldn't you i mean the everything's changing so fast and for me it seems that students of the guitar at least through the internet are kind of cherry picking all the time i'll take a bit of this yeah i'll take a bit of 100%. that where where do you see things going Nate? do do you have any idea of what the next big thing is going to be i i don't know but um and this is something that jared is better at because he's kind of the the captain of the ship and he has the big vision i just kind of provide my feedback and try to get a big picture to give him some feedback as far as where the guitar market is but um for me like the relationships are the most important thing. Like if I sit down and go through an, the email inbox and answer a hundred emails in a day and people are like, this is, is this really you? And a lot of times they're like, this is really you, <laughs> but it, you know, it is. And then, uh, doing video responses, being in the forum on guitario.com, that's a big deal. But like as of uh, well, the past two years, uh, I've realized that you can't just put an instructional video out there and uh, have it, um, uh, perform the way it used to you have to have some kind of um storytelling entertainment or interaction or people are gonna be like this this just isn't really valid on youtube or facebook or whatever the platform is anymore so i think a lot of people would be interested to know you know where you actually film it is that a green screen or is it an actual studio that you you have right it's it's actual studio um it's us on one side and piano the piano uh kind of wing of the company on the other side of the and we share that with them, and then Dromeo has their own. Yeah, they uh, would separate. have to, wouldn't they? <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Abs- absolutely. So they, They've got their own storage unit for uh, nothing but drum kits. It's great. In terms of creating new content, how often do you guys, I, I take you'll have to work out what new content you want, how often will you be video recording in, in a week, Nate, or is it, you just do it in massive bunches? of? It depends on... Um, what's going on if like we're doing a if we're doing a product then it'll be every every week pretty much or i'll take a week off to write and rehearse and then i'll film like two or three days the next week or like uh, i just filmed a video last week i'm filming probably nothing this week it's all gonna be like live streams and then maybe next week i'll have a film one or two videos and, and will you do you have to edit your own things or or is that no thank god not anymore um <laughs> oh, that was no we have uh, uh josh josh polanco's uh, our main uh guitar video editor he does a great job uh, that must be a huge relief because that's the thing i hate about the whole it's all very well videoing it's the editing it's the total nightmare all right it's just like a necessary evil for uh people content creators like us right where does guitario go next or can't you speak about it? Yeah, um, there's there's a couple different ways that we could go. Uh, another one is the first one is to do uh, put out the next logical course for like uh, the follow up to acoustic guitar made easy, uh-huh. which would be you know something either finger style or blues based. I would imagine because those are the most um, pressing things that we hear that people want. Another way is to think about just how to engage the community in a new fresh way and st- and just keep growing uh, the guitar members area, which we're going to be doing anyways. We're constantly adding to the guitar members area putting new courses and series up in there so the guitar system Mm -hmm. that's not what you've just been talking about though is it the guitar no the guitar system was probably released five years five six years ago something like that 97 dollars what you getting come on this is the chance to tell them all what you getting for 97 dollars this this is the project that uh nearly killed me literally because you said (laughs) you know editing video yourself doing all that but um this is the like the closest I could come up with to creating a kind of encyclopedia of everything I know about guitar. And it was originally meant to be on DVDs, but it, it turned out to be so big that it was just really prohibitive. It was like it would add so much cost to um, yeah. people buying it. They were like, we'll just do it online and just leave it at that. But it, it covers everything from beginner to the you know the most advanced that I can do. And then uh, a lot of different styles too, just to kind of wet your feet in them to give you um, a solid enough musical foundation to where you can be like, if you finish it, you can be like, I can go learn anything that I want on the guitar on my own. Is, Just by listening or reading, you know. That's fantastic. And I, I, I guess it must be quite a buzz because you'll have had buyers from all over the world, right? Yeah, I'm I'm not sure um, if that's the most selling product anymore. Guitario membership may have passed that just because it's been out for a while now. I'm not sure. I just wanted to 
ask you, is there anything specific about Guitario you would want to tell people about? And then I've got a question. This is a general question after that to round this, this chat off. So is there anything that you would like to say about Guitario? Um, I think Guitario's strongest point is our community. Like all the people on our forums are really care about one another. And they're always really encouraging. That's something that I don't, I don't see a, too, a whole lot out there. And uh, that's with a Guitario membership. That's the one where... Um, you know, a lot of different topics are covered, a lot of really foundational stuff to get you playing pretty much any kind of music that you want to through kind of teaching you how to um, fish instead of giving you a fish, as it were, with music in general. Uh, and the acoustic guitar made easy thing, it's very different. I, I made that for people that have always wanted to play guitar or people that have played before and uh, feel like they've tried, like they failed pretty much or feel like they can't do it. And like this is the best way that I know of online to learn acoustic guitar to the point where you can actually play you know sit down with your guitar and play the songs that you want to play so are you a failure at acoustic guitar <laughs> those are the good- <laughs> <laughs> so um the, finally i just um because I, I do this with most of these videos when i talk to people who are online a lot of people will listen to this and look at that and undoubtedly some of them would love to be in in your position do you mm-hmm. think the marketplace is now saturated and there is no room for, you know, new companies like your own, say young guitarists coming through? Or do you think this is just a never-ending well that goes on and on and on? I think it's it's growing, but I think, uh, let's say, if three people a day drop off, I think six people a day are coming in. I think that uh, the cream is going to rise to the top and the people who stick really get into it and research and have their fingers on the pulse of what's going on with people and what they want. They'll, they'll still be around and there's still room for it. I think there's a lot of room, but again, people are going to fall off if you're, if you're not really dedicated to it and willing to research. And, you know, like uh, guitar players, I'm not a marketer. I'm not a business person. I just have to do the best I can and try to learn new things as I go and then really rely on Jared a lot for his uh, guidance and support like that. So Well, it all looks top notch. It really does. It looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. You know, anyone who is wanting to get into it who doesn't want perhaps personal one-to-one tuition would surely love what you've done here. And I, people ask me all the time, should I take private lessons if I'm using your stuff? And my answer is always learn from as many sources as possible. I love that community thing, by the way, you're talking about, because with the other people I've talked to, one or two have talked about community in it. It seems like in a world where we're so wired and connected to each other, there seems to be an awful lot of people who are still almost like lonely and on their own and cut off. Yeah. Yeah. And the brilliant thing, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, if you can, I guess, speak English. I take it it's not in other languages, is it? Not yet. Aha! But, you know, who knows what the future holds for that? We'll see. Right. And on that bombshell, as I like to say, it's been, <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, Nate. Thank you for uh, sharing your time. I know you're incredibly busy. I hope this gets out to some people who have maybe unlikely as it might seem never heard of guitario and they go over all the links all your videos that uh well not all your videos i'll take some videos from youtube and we'll put it on the gmi website and hopefully you'll have a few folks spinning your way soon awesome man thank you so much it was great to spend some time with you well that rounds up another podcast how quickly time flies the two things that come through loud and clear to me about Guitario is that it is a full-time job. To reach the heights that they've reached with the systems that they're offering has taken so much hard work and that comes through loud and clear. It's a real labour of love. The other thing that comes through is that Guitario offers a lot more than just videos for guitar players. It offers a community where you can share and benefit from other people's experience. So, Hopefully, having heard this podcast, you will check out Guitario. Well, well worth a look. So, thanks for listening to this podcast. My name is Jed Brocky. It's been a pleasure to have you as part of it. Hopefully, you will subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening to it. Go to www.guitarandmusicinstitute.com. There's links to Guitario with videos as well as some background notes. Thanks for listening. Until the next time, bye for now.